Darren, a brilliant victory here at Victory Park. How pleased were you with the manner of the win, considering we went ahead so early and had to sort of slog it out for 90 minutes to secure all three points? Yeah, I mean, probably one of our best passages of play was, was the actual goal. It was a good little bit of movement from Simeon, great little slide pass, and he's done what, you know, you get taught as a forward player, you shoot a cross goal and keep the parries it, and, and there's Maka doing what Maka does, you know. Um, and Maka, in all fairness, probably should have got one in the second half, a, a header that normally is his bread and butter on, you know, and probably as shocked as anyone that he didn't didn't uh, make it 2-0, but... Listen, none of these games are going to be be easy, and there's there's many ways of winning football matches. We've won some games of late through some really good attacking play, and some good patterns and some good passages. And today we've had to roll our see- sleeves up in in windy conditions, um, and and grind it out if you want to call it that. So, you know, but at the end of the day, we're on the road, um, team fighting for their lives. We've kept a clean sheet, and we've, and we're taking three points home. When you look at the goal, especially McCallum's role in it, is it about him finding that football intelligence to be in the right place at the right time to do the damage? I mean, you can you can teach, you can help improve players with that, but there is certain people, and I know through my own playing days when I've played with certain strikers, they just can sniff out being in the right place at the right time. Some of it's very natural. It's it's stuff that you can't teach people. Um, and and with, with Macca's record over recent times I would suggest it's quite natural to him to yeah. be in the right place at the right time so credit to him he's, he, he's, he's made the impact we all hoped yeah. that he would make when he's come through the door um, and, but I do believe there's more to come from him like I do, like I do all the other players you know I'm, I'm, we're always striving for better but like I say you know, we, we're on the road today we've had to win a, a game in, in a different way and we've managed to do that so I'm very pleased Another notable performance out there, Dan Sweeney playing in a more central midfield role. He seemed to control the game from start to finish. He must be impressive how he played out there. Yeah, he made some good decisions on the ball. You know, he's a big, powerful boy. Um, maybe could have had a goal himself today as well. Hit a couple of decent shots. Um, and, and I think he's he, he's done very well in there today. I thought he, his contribution in the, in the sort of abandoned game on Tuesday was very good as well. Um, the ball for Macca's goal obviously it's not going to count now but it's still a great ball in but yeah Sweens I mean we look solid we look solid today and although they they played okay Chorley passed the ball around okay you know I, I, I do look at what Lochi's had to do today he hasn't had to make a save but he's had to deal with some crosses and, and some aerial balls and that but he hasn't had to make a save which tells me that the the guys in front of him are look solid and you know we look solid through the middle of our pitch when you think about the experience the size the power the athleticism and ultimately the quality as well so really pleased with all of them today but yeah Sweeney rightly so and obviously the long and short of it really is it's another win you must be delighted to get back to winning ways following what was a frustrating game at Solihull yeah, and we've touched on it, haven't we? We could have easily come away from that game with a point, which I think we, we warranted, but it wasn't to be. Um, and then we've responded with with our next game. We've won the game, so that's all you can do. So, you know, it's, it's very pleasing to, to get back to winning ways. And, you know, I haven't checked the results around us, but we'll have a look on the way home. And, you know, everyone will get excited by what they... What, what they see and obviously how we've how we've won the game today but it's game at a time and we'll come in Monday and prepare to the best of our ability for Tuesday and the fans have been rewarded with three points on the road and they're going to play a massive part going into next week where we've got another league game and then a quarter final in the FA Trophy yeah and this is you know we, we I mention it as often as I can and I you know that the, the, the guys that come today got right behind the team you could hear them cheering them on and they're going to be going home pleased and naturally happy with another win. Um, but the role they can play is going to be huge for us. And all I hope is we get a few more through the door at the Hive. You know, it, I, I understand sometimes the weather plays its part and I know there's issues and what have you. But, you know, if it takes begging, I beg for your support. Please come and get behind the boys because we're going to have an exciting running.